Welcome to the finals. Um, congrats on being here. Um, thank you guys for coming out and putting all your time and effort in this um, and all the uh, competitors and teams that came. Um, and thank you so much to our judges um, for their time and you know, the real value add here. I um, also want to say thank you to Fragman, our presenting sponsor, um, and Gabe Feldman and Eric Blevins for their support. Um, big shout out to my board members who also helped put this on. Um, and we hope to see you all next year. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for helping us with our first in person and kind of making it a successful event. Um, with that, the teams in the final are Creighton and Chapman. Um, and our judges are Patrick, who is the Senior Director of Legal of America's SSP and the founder and owner of 5v2. Um, additionally, we have Andrew, who's a consultant of the New Orleans Jesters and formerly the sporting director of Memphis 901 FC and president of the Charleston Battery. And finally, we have Daniel joining us in on Zoom, who is the senior counsel of business and affairs at Major League Soccer. Um, and with that, I'm going to turn it over to Eric, who is going to say a few words. Thanks, Caroline. Uh, and I, I don't think uh, anyone can see us on the video, but hopefully, can hear us. So thank you, Daniel, for joining virtually and just echoing a few thank yous and a few brief comments. Um, this, uh, the, these competitions, this is our last one of the season. There are a ton of work. And, and first and foremost, I want to uh, give a lot of credit to our student board members um, who took up this project two years ago uh, with the idea of building something from the ground up in soccer. Uh, and they've done an amazing job. They they led the, the charge last year on Zoom, and now this year again for our first in-person. So I just want to give a special um, congratulations, thank you, and all of those things to our three uh, leaders who are Caroline Kaniff and John Turner and Callie DeCourt. So let's give them a round of applause. These, these events really are an enormous amount of work. Uh, so uh, the, the students get, deserve all the credit for um, for how well this has gone. We're really proud. This is an awesome foundation for uh, a great event go, going forward. Um, uh, Professor Feldman, um, I, well, I guess I should introduce myself. I, I'm Eric Blevins. I'm the sports law program manager for Tulane. I work for Professor Feldman, who uh, is actually giving a panel right now at BookFest across the quad, um, and he sends his regrets. But um, thanks again to our judges for being a part of this uh, early on. And, and one more thank you to Fragman, who's been a, uh, the Fragman Law Firm, who's been an excellent partner uh, for our students this year through uh, almost all of our events with, with the baseball competition, the um, Women in Sports Law Symposium, the basketball competition, and now soccer. So um, thank you for being a big part of helping the students get this off the ground. And um, that's enough for me, and I will turn it over to uh, Ethan, who will be our bailiff for the finals, and, and get this started. Good luck, everyone. All the competitors and the judges have uh, heard the rules enough now, so we don't have to read those. Uh, and we, we can get started whenever you go. How are you, Norton? Stephanie, nice to meet you. And I'm Seth Oliver. Thank you. Thank you. So, and, you know, on behalf of Chelsea, again, my name is Dari Norton. It's my colleague, Tyler Macon. And on behalf of Chelsea, we're excited to be here to talk about Christian politics, Mr. America, right? Uh, and he's shown that he can be a world class forward. Uh, incredible success at the international level. Uh, on the world's greatest stage in Qatar, we saw what we did with the U.S. Men's national team had a goal, two assists. Uh, even, you know, he sacrificed his injury just so that the U.S. could move on to, to the knockout stages. So it's arguably the case of the men's national. But we agree that at Chelsea, it hasn't been the best fit. Uh, but even though it hasn't been the best fit here at Chelsea, because of Christian's upside, we're committed to finding the right home for him so that he can shine. And like in the Serie A, for AC Milan, and it's it's no secret that he's been rumored to be heading to just about every top club in, in all of Europe. Um, so we're looking forward to working with you both today. We're excited to be here. And with that being said, Tyler is going to uh, walk us through some numbers. So just to give you an idea of 
where we're at as a club. At baseline, we're looking at the transfer fee that we paid for any Christian from Rissi to Dortmund a few years ago. So that Darian's going to go ahead and read us off those numbers. Was that 57 million pounds? Yes, and if we're speaking in euros, that is 64 million euros in terms of the transfer fee. Yeah. It's definitely a good starting point. And then, oh, I'm sorry, one other thing. Sure. And we're also looking for a bonus for if Milan is able to win the American Champions League. All right, excuse me. Uh, sorry, you want to talk to that? Yeah. So, in terms of that Champions League title bonus, the bonus for winning the Champions League, that would be 4 million pounds. That's 4.5 million euros. Okay. So, do we have a deal? <laughs> well, first of all, we appreciate you converting it into euros. I know your company is negotiating in euros, and if you are, we want to see what you can do from there. Um, yeah, absolutely. Um, Sydney Holt is undoubtedly a fantastic player, and he's had a lot of accomplishments in his career. Um, I think it's a good starting offer. Um, we definitely have some more discussion to do on that number specifically, um, but. What are your concerns? I think first and foremost is the, the, the injuries, which are pervasive and long term. Um, and then, of course, is lack of starting and appearances since he's been, been at Chelsea. Um, you said that he's not the right fit. I think that much is apparent. Um, and with that, you did sign him for him being fit. But when he's not and he struggled to get playing time and he's been injury prone, I think that's 64 million euro transfer fee is just it, it's unreasonable for where he's at in his career right now. And I, I do have a question. Can you elaborate on why he is not a good fit at Chelsea? Is it solely for the injuries? Um what's can you elaborate what's going on there? Is there something we need to be aware of? For sure. I mean it's no secret that even from the time that we brought him in, we saw Christian as a, as a potentially once in a generation talent. And we still do think he's a very, very special player. Even going back to the time we brought him in, we chose to sign the deal in the beginning part of the year with Garcia and Dortmund, but we gave him on loan until the summer so that we could bring him in at the start of the training camp because we had some concerns about his fit with our manager. You know, it turns out those concerns were somewhat valid. The, uh, the fit was not as great as we would like, but that's not an indication of his value or his ability to compete. What we've seen competing outside of Chelsea has been tremendous talent. Competing on the world stage at the World Cup against some of the best players in the world. As Darian mentioned, putting his body on the line. You see this guy with a lot of heart that, you know, it, to be perfectly frank, it, it hasn't worked out as Chelsea, at Chelsea as we hoped it would. But that's separate from his value as a player to other clubs. So you are putting his overall, not you're not valuing him based upon his performance. You are valuing him as a person and the the fandom he brings. Is that kind of what you're going towards? We're valuing him based on his ability to perform as a footballer. It hasn't okay. been the best fit at Chelsea, which is why we're able to transfer him now. But we're valuing him for as good of a footballer as he is. And he's still only 24. He's quite frankly still in the heart of his prime, shown what he's done at the international level. Obviously at Chelsea, it's tough to compete in the English Premier League, and we brought in players like Raheem Sterling. So playing time is been a factor for him, but he's entering still in his prime. He's only 24, shown what he can do, and he's on the field bit and fired. I know you elaborated a little bit. I still didn't hear any specific concerns about the manager fit and his relationship with that. As we mentioned, it wasn't a fit with our manager. Okay, so just that particular concern. Christian is not a problematic player. He's somebody that has been a leader in other settings and unfortunately hasn't meshed with Chelsea. That's not an indication of his talent. We hold no ill will for that. We recognize that it's time for him to move on to another club that he might be able to excel in. I appreciate that. And then um, to clarify, your offer is a $64 million transfer fee. You're valuing him where and when? 64 million euros. Euro, correct. Okay. Um, I think I speak for both of us when we say that it's an extremely high valuation. Um, he is 24, so he's not the youngest player. He's not the oldest player. What concerns us is the injuries and the prone um, ability for that to happen 
Yeah, and as of February 1st, he is currently out on a leave in state. Correct? Anticipated to come back in about three to four weeks. Is Trophy doing anything to facilitate his rehab? Of course. We have a robust rehab program that's all familiar with the is, is your only right. concern is it this thing? It's not the only concern, it is a large concern. The other, as I'm sure you can tell, is the relationship with him. We want to ensure he's going to be a good fit just as much as I'm sure he wants to uh, ensure that he's going to fit in here as well and get the playing time that he clearly wants. Um, one of the things that I can show to support the goal evaluation, um, looking at Brendan Aronson, he is 22, so he's two years younger, and his current market value is 30 million. Euro. Wait, what is that based off of? Off of uh, U.S. transfer market, his, his valuation. He's I mean, also American, he's 22, doesn't have the injury of that, and that's um, the half of the valuation that you propose, and he's much younger. I mean, um, very, he's really... not the only one. You can go for Giovanni Reyna. You could also go for Talon Hudson in Italy. Um, so I, I just don't think that 64 million is a realistic Starting. Okay, I, I think at this point we'd love to see what your starting point is when you think the evaluation is and what it's based off of, based off U.S. transfer market potential. I mean, we'd love to see it as an offer. Yeah, I I completely agree. So I think that the range that we could start to discuss um, is thirty five million euro. And then, again, the big consideration. Um, I just don't think that sixty four million euro technically is acceptable based on his. Playing time, he is not the best form. A player in good form will play. You said he's not a fit, but he hasn't been playing consistently, and that affects their the ability to move on and get that playing time. And then, of course, there's the injury consideration, and that those kind of couple together. He's not in his prime right now. He's out with injury. He hasn't been playing consistently. It just it's hard to justify a 64 million euro transfer fee. I understand you want to recover what you paid for him, but when you paid for him to come from Dortmund, he was in the prime of his career. He was at a very high point at that point. So it's there's a I want to say you overpaid, but there's okay. so what he's at now is not 64 million. Right. You're saying he is worth approximately 35 million euros, which is almost less than half. Of what we paid for him. So I'm just I'm just curious if I'm confused of what that 35 million valuation is, is paid on. Is well, based on. so to clarify, we understand what you paid for him, but simply because Chelsea overpaid for him, we don't need to make that up. Like that's not our responsibility to compensate for your overpayment. We understand that you guys have spent considerable funds in acquiring new players and for his original transfer fee. Um, quite frankly, that's that's not something that we're concerned with. We're concerned with paying a fair market value. We'll absolutely compensate Chelsea for what he's worth. It's just it's not the people. So what I'm hearing so far is a lot of criticism of the decision to start club, and and I'll tell you, we, we don't love hearing that. I, I we, can relate. We love and more and, for that. But I think looking at this 35 million euro number, where does that come? from? You said it was a range. It sounds like you can go up from there. It's it's a starting point. It certainly is. Um, there is some wiggle room. And first off, I want to apologize uh, because we do not want to make this an adversarial negotiation. We want to come to a deal just as much as you do. So I want to get that on the table. It's absolutely a mutual, mutually beneficial um, deal that we would like to strike. But you want to give him a good home? Yes, we provide that. We care. Not going to overpay for him. Right. But just, um, just to harp on my colleague's question again. Yep, is, yep. I, I yep. was getting to that. All right. Go yep. ahead. Yep. So, again, um, Brendan Aronson is worth 30 million. He's younger, doesn't have the injury record that um, Pulisic does. Um, Steph can go into more details about his statistics, but just to give you other figures that you named prior, Giovanni Reyna, 35 million euro. That's his, his market value. He's 20. Market value according to U.S. transfer market. According to U.S. transfer market, his current market value is 35 million euro. He's four years younger, so he's on the upward trajectory. Sure. For so that, and can, then can you point to any actual transfers, or is this just speculative? Oh, it's not speculative. It's right here. I can tell you the link if you'd like. But so the transfer market is 
to a certain degree speculative. As all market valuations are going to be, but it is based on their intrinsic and it's a starting point and it's a point of reference for us to base our own number off of. It's sure. a discussion point, not a hard one. Sure. Right. And it's it's opening the range for that. And then again, Alan Hudson, two years younger, 25 million dollar uh, euro valuation. So what I'm trying to show you in this is that there is a more realistic figure. For our support for the 35 million euros. I, I want to clarify something that I think is going to be important for the rest mm -hmm. of this discussion. Looking at prospective projected values on transfer market, it, that just doesn't sell us. I, I mean, you look at how they performed in other contracts and that maybe gives you a range, but we can't go out and base an entire deal off what transfer market thinks it might be. Nor is it meant to. And, and right. just to give some context to how inaccurate those numbers work, they projected what 50 million euro transfer fee for Teresa last time, and Christian was transferred for 64 million euros. You look at some of the other top players. I mean, uh, for example, the top 10 list of, of transfers they've tracked Erling Haaland, you know, 150 million dollars, excuse me, 150 million euro market value, 60 million euro actual, 55 million projected, 121 actual, 35 million projected. 95 actual transfer market maybe it's a helpful tool but if you're going to use comparative players we need to see some actual data not speculation we are using it as a tool not as a hard line and i don't want that to get confused at all we understand your concerns with the speculative nature of transfer market and those valuations and that's understandable these are just to give a starting point and to get a general idea of where players are at in their current valuation however and if there is a, uh, a place in like a specific you would prefer to use, we're more than happy to draw a valuation based off based upon that. I, I think right you now let's let's go back to the bigger picture here, which is we're we're here to help find help Christian find a home, right? And I know that at AC Milan you're looking for a board. I know Raphael Leal, he's been connected to some transfer talks. So you know it's a win-win for both of our side. So you mentioned a range. So I'm yeah. curious to learn more about what that range might look like. I can assure you it goes nowhere near the 64 million that I just mentioned. So how close is it? I think it would be better if we have provided the 35 million offer. We have a counter offer for the sake of time and not to continue going into the We feel very comfortable with the offer that we've provided. Great. So far, what we've heard is that you have a range, the bottom of which is 35 million euros, which is a few comparable players that are below that number. So I think in the interest of coming to a deal today, we could put together some sort of counteroffer to try and meet somewhere, but we'd really like to hear more what your actual numbers are, since everything we're hearing is you have a range that goes higher than that. Sorry, what do you say we put together a, a offer? Maybe we'll yeah, take one let's, take time a, let's take a minute, we'll come back, we'll present our offer, and then we'll go from there. How does that sound? Sounds great. We're excited to hear it.
I think we should come up with something so that I think. Yeah, so we, you know, we hear your concerns and in good faith we're coming here to make sure as well. Um, so we've come down on, a, on our offer of 64 million euros to uh, 57 million. Um, Are you including the tapping? In addition, in addition, we would like to see a four and a half million euro uh, UA for champion movement. So no movement on the champion team. I'm sorry, I, I don't think you mentioned the champion team. That's something that's going to be an issue for you. No, I just want to clarify since this is your counter offer, you mentioned the four and a half million in the team, and I'm not sure there's any. Correct. I, I don't think we okay. discussed it at all. Mm -hmm. well, we brought it up. Yes, we haven't discussed it. We have not. So confirming that there's been no change in the initial team. Yes. Okay. So, 57 million down from your 64 million. And so that's what you initially paid for the champion team, right? For him? No, no, that was in the uh, uh, converted from. No, it was 57 million pounds to the end of the champion team. Pounds. We are now asking that AC Milan pay 57 million euro transfer fee. Let me ask you this. Um, can we, we provided some, I think, rather. Comparable to this. Can you provide us with some? That way we can see where you're coming from with that. We understand that these, quote, arguably the face of the men's national team, unquote, we could talk about that if we need to. I don't think we do. Um, and that he played in the park, which is phenomenal, but we can't base our entire decision off of that. So what can you show us to the support of that? As we've mentioned, Based off the numbers, if we feel or we would feel comfortable letting Crystal go for it. Okay. It's no secret that every top club in Europe, at one point or another, has been rumored to be transferring him. This is how we feel, based on our information, what he's worth. I'm glad you brought that up. Do you have any offers on him? Brian, do you want to address that? We're discussing with several clubs right now. So the services are certainly in demand. As I mentioned earlier, it seems like you are on talks with Rafael Leal, whether that works out or not. So we do see that as a win-win if you are looking for a forward. Um, and to add to that, in terms of the value that mm -hmm. Christian brings, the value of an American player to, to Serie A, I know you mentioned Gio Reyna, I know you, you didn't mention Western McKinney over at Juventus, but Christian Pulisic is the face of men soccer in the United States. And to him, to give him that platform at Milan uh, to compete with Serie A um, and to have that U.S., Basis and influence as well, there's tremendous value. So, you are just to make sure I'm, on, I'm understanding what she's proposing. You're proposing his value as a U.S. player, not as a footballer himself. You're, you're talking about bringing in U.S. money, but that you know, his value as the face of the men's national team is one thing, and we understand that, but that's also speculative. So, we're trying to understand. We'd like Why? some uh, hard line facts for the team. So you the only the only reasoning behind the numbers that you've given us so far is that's what you pay for him. That's nice. We acknowledge that you want to make that money back, but we're just kind of struggling understanding such a high fee, and you haven't really been able to point to anything specific as to why he's valued that. We feel really that this is his value based on our discussions with other clubs. But you don't have any offers from him. We're not authorized to discuss any version of the other clubs. I think at this point, here where you are, it sounds like you have a range of comfortable values. We'd love to see what the upper end of that range looks like since you have some numbers. I think what we would like to focus on to give you perhaps a number that you are more comfortable with is more of his specifics as to why. Rumors with transferring him to another club are one thing, actual offers are another. And we understand and acknowledge that you cannot. Disclose those offers at this time. Of course, these are confidential. But we just need that backup. And you know, we you can tell us all day long that oh yeah, these offers are we're getting these offers from different clubs, describing his value, or we're at least negotiating, but no offers have materialized. I, it it makes me wonder if there's no offer materialized, why is that? Is it possibly because you're overvaluing him? We haven't seen any hardline stats about that. 
that to support the valuation again other than what Steph mentioned intangibles nothing like that so I'm in the interest of again of time of coming to a deal let's be blunt I, I need that well what we've heard from you sounds like you already have some numbers in mind I think it's you, I'm sorry, I don't mean to interrupt, but you keep trying to bring this back on us, and we need you to give us a better reasoning for your valuation, not just rumor. And that's right. going to help us determine exactly what that range is. We can't identify that range without support. You no, know, it it seems like, it, I don't know if you're stuck at the 35 million euro. We're not. We're not willing to work with us. We are absolutely willing, if, but it needs to be moved. If, if we have some other numbers to show us, we'd love to see them, and we'd love to come to a deal. But if it's not going to happen today, we understand. Right. What, what I'm hearing is that, is that if we don't give you any stats and you're not comfortable with, with making a deal with our son, then we came here today very much interested to make a deal. Did you? Because we, <laughs> we, we're struggling to see it. So, we want to come to a deal. We seem to be stuck at this thing kind of going in circles. Let's table that. Let's discuss this again here today. Does that sound agreeable? To make some progress in some way, I, we're both on the same page in that we want to make a deal. It but needs to be a fair market deal, and in order to establish that, as we said, we need the stats. And players only work that people will pay for them. So it's it's evident that we're not going to pay the fifty-seven million euro. So what will you pay? That's a great question. In order to establish that, we need the stats to support it because we you understand we're on a budget. Of so, because we are going around in circles, let's table that and let's move on to the change of table. Is that agreeable? We'd like to come to you. We understand that, and the Champions League bonus is part of the deal. And you've offered four and a half million. We have not yet come to a counter. Our bonus will be dependent upon that, certainly, but. Right, it makes more sense to look at the deal holistically, right? What is the transfer fee plus the bonus? So I don't think that right. really makes sense. So I think we can still- so, so basically you're not agreeable to moving on to the Champions League book. We'd like to look at the deals. And I think okay. what we're hearing yeah. so far is a very adversarial approach to this. We'd love to hear from you since you've expressed several times that you have a range of values. We'd love to hear what the rest of that range looks like. Since so far, all we know is that the bottom of that is 35. Mm -hmm. So, can you share what another deal, a holistic deal, might look like? I'll tell you this. Um, we're fine with agreeing to the holistic approach. Um, we've already agreed to that. We're agreeing to look at the holistic approach. You want to make a deal. That's evident. Um, let's take our time out. We're going to take one time out to see what we can show. But I do want to make it clear that when we come back, we expect to see at least one comparable player and hard line factual as factual as it's been done. Help us help you quite literally. Thank you. I'm sorry, is this a one minute or it is a one minute? I'd like to come to you because we have some numbers to share with comparable players, but it feels like at this point it's not going to be productive to produce no. them because I think they're just going to try and see the stats. So I'm concerned to actually bring in those numbers. It seems like they're going to be very number adventurous to try and tackle that stat. This may be a situation where we come to the deal done today, at least not with these two, because of that adversarial relationship. But I still think we should try and come to something. Absolutely. And I think we try to emphasize the win win in this. The both are yes, right? Mm -hmm. They need a forward transfer most likely and real to provide someone who provides great value and upside on, on the cheap, you know, compared to what they could be paying. We're hearing a lot of we want to make a deal, we're seeing a lot of that. <laughs> so I'm I'm I think we have to keep that in mind that we might not be able to come to something, but I want to keep trying. Let's keep let's keep going. Baby steps, small way, we move closer. Do you have a player for us? I'm sorry, our, our understanding is that you went up to share an offer. Is that incorrect? Um, I think we did also. I have a question for you to have more backup for your offer. I think we have provided more than enough backups on the offer, and quite frankly, it's going in circles, and so we need to figure something out. 
let's call a spade a spade. Okay, you boys are trying to make it so we're negotiating on your first step. We're not going to do it. You mentioned that you have your evaluation. You can tell us what you That's fine. Let's let's start somewhere to make a deal. You do not want to go to stuff for champion food bonus. Also fine. We'll do the holistic approach. Here's the thing. We're not hurting for money to get some things. Okay, you want money as much as much as you want a player. You just spent 600 million euros in the last transfer season, and you acquired twice the list of high caliber midfielders specifically. You don't need him. He's injury prone. So I think that arguably justifies the lower market value and it's the transfer fee that we're seeking. Additionally, boy, this is nine o'clock. This is the last day. You want to make a deal? Let's make a deal. You don't? That's fine. What we've seen so far, we have an opening offer, which is very reasonable in light of how we value Christian. And yet you have it because you've already agreed and stated that he has an adversarial relationship with your manager. He does not get along with your manager. That is a red flag for us. We're willing to overlook that because we think he still could be a possible good fit, which is fine. Um, you've acknowledged the injuries. All you've said to back up your fee is he's the face of the U.S. men's national team, which I personally am not even sure I agree with. So that's an intangible fact. Okay. Let's, as we've repeatedly asked, I need some sort of statistical backup. Your personal opinion on his value, you cannot make an offer. As we shared, we made an opening offer. We heard your offer. In the effort of getting a deal done today, we've come back with another offer. As we would love to hear where you are. Okay. We've come down. You've come down from an extremely unreal, extremely unrealistic valuation. Um, so I can come down from 500 million euros. So, so like, that's like fine. Let's do 36 million. That's our about case. That is based off his age, his injury prone, Smith, the injury. Um, as we've already discussed, we have given you three comparable players in that. So you asked for a number, that's the number, 36 million euros. Also factor in his lack of consistent playing time, which affects the player's overall form and ability to play. Okay, and then you can please write the offer next to it so you can see all the offers. And that, that is that include a 4.5 million? Euro transfer trends to sign for it, Champions League bonus or nope. We um this is just okay, so you're valuing him at let's see 3.5 million euro. That's what you're valuing him. We don't even think. Sorry, what is that based on? Your holistic view. This is your holistic view. I'm sorry, four and a half plus 36. 36 is your number. Down from 57. So we'll do that then. But it's, let's, let's call it a combination. Because this is not our figure, it's yours. Okay, so what, what does your face figure look like then? I'm not comfortable discussing this figure. Until we come to a more realistic approach, you wanted a range. I'll tell you this we are not comfortable holistically spending anywhere near. So, so far, what we've heard, and we appreciate you moving, although Giannis doesn't seem to be very productive in moving. So far, we've heard a, a list of a few different players that have projected theoretical transfer numbers based on a website. To counter your point, uh, you asked for some specifics. Are there any specific transfers that you're pointing to? Or is this, as you said, an opinion? It's an offer. You back it up. And I'm not so much worried about what another club is willing to pay for a player. I'm worried about what we are willing to pay for a player. There's a lot of diff other different factors that go into a club's need and why they would pay more. I don't know why Chelsea paid 600 million on signing. I, you know, that that was totally specific. Um, I'm sure you have very valid reasons for that, but that doesn't necessarily equate that our reasons are the reasons. So what I'm hearing is that this is a number that, in your opinion, fits, but there's no real justification for it. We've now, I think, I think, you know, Darian, maybe we can take a look at our numbers. Again, we'd love to come to a deal. I think this number is still outside of the range of what we see in value. And if that's where we're at, we're not going to be able to reach a deal today. But in the interest of reaching some sort of deal, 
Darn, you want to go ahead and, and take a look? Do you want to take a time I'll out? I'll take a or? minute and then we'll come back and prepare an offer. Does that sound good? Yes, I don't like that. Because we're here to make a deal. Right? We came here to exchange. So, so that's that's good. Good. And uh, the one, this one. is your last one minute. Thank you for your patience. Baby steps forward. We're getting close to it. Any final agreement and agreement? Right. So Tyler's going to write down the deal for both boys. Um, so now, in terms of the transfer fee, we've come down. Your okay. concerns, you know, that's the largest concern is the transfer fee. So we've come down to 52 billion euros in transfer fee. And we had yet to hear a compelling reason um, to come down to that 4.5 million. But there's uh, someone, Champions League, but yeah, go ahead. Uh, there's someone in particular that this number is based off. Yeah. Of that, that we've seen, and that, that seems to be a sticking point. Uh, sorry, yeah, you he's been that? asking for players, so yeah. came back. Raheem Sterling at Chelsea. I don't know, you're going to go and dig into his certificates now. He's an older player. He was 27 when he signed. Uh, he only had a deal left on his, on a year left on his contract, but he signed for 53.7 billion euros at Chelsea. So, there's your player. So that's a hard one. <laughs> Thank you for providing us with the player after asking. Um, we really do appreciate you taking the time to find a player for us. Um, that being said, and, and Gene Sterling clear. does not have the same injury issues as Christian Pulisic. He starts a lot more consistently. He's in much higher percentiles on on goals and on pass completion than Christian Pulisic is. So of course he's going to be worth more money. Christian Pulisic is not at the same level as Raheem Sterling. I appreciate you bringing a comparable player, but he is not comparable. We respectfully disagree. That's nice. We're going to disagree, disagree on a lot more here, and I came back. You're going to disagree with everything we're saying, but we agree to disagree. I'm fine with progress. So you want a holistic approach? Um, that's fine. Let's do this. Um, I'm not going to counter. We're not going to counter the 53. We're going to stay firm at the 36. And we're going to add in um, the champion league bonus. And we'll see how you feel about that. Okay. I can tell you, I don't think we have a deal today. You need our money more than you need this player. So if you are not interested in making a deal, that's fine with us. We are not going to overpay for a player that, quite frankly, is not worth like that. We hear, we hear your concerns, right? Do you? We, because we've we explicitly stated them multiple times, and we are we, just getting unrealistic comparables. Where we Sing, started, singular. we started at 64 million euros. The basis for that is that's what we paid for. We gave you that justification. We started at 35 million euros. The justification was based on the valuation. We've only come up with 1 million euros since then. We've come here to make a deal. I can so come down just, to 500 million euros. It's, it doesn't matter because it is still unrealistic and i i recognize that is what you paid for him I, I hear you i want to ensure that chelsea gets some money for their trouble for their player that's only there it is a business 
we will absolutely compensate you, but we will not overpay. We will compensate you for what is reasonable. You can come up, let me get this counter offer on here, and then we can talk. Does that sound fair? No, it does. You just mentioned at the beginning, you mentioned the range. So we'd love to see what that looks like. So let's do, yep, we'll do 37. Are you agreeable to that? Okay, we'll do 37. Please make note, I realize that to you, this is 1 million euro, but it's a realistic concession. It's not what? I've given you three comparables. And so if, if you are not agreeable to those comparables, I welcome other comparables from you in addition to reading. So we can take a look at that and come to a fair market deal. But again, we've expressed our concerns. I'm not going to reiterate them here again. So this is the transfer fee. I'm going to just do that because that's not amenable to us. We'll do a 500,000 um, bonus. So now we're at 37.5 million. And I, I, I hear you boys, I really do. That's what you paid for him, whatever that figure was. To be quite frank, that's not right. That's an that act not to But that's what he was valued at, and that's what you paid for him yet. But that is not the player that he is now. And it's, it's you cannot justify recouping your costs for a player who is not in the same form and is currently injured with you said it. Right? Second return date is three to four weeks. That's three to four weeks of missed training. And when you have an injury, you never fully recover. The likelihood of you injuring again is high. And that just brings, it just makes that $64 million in. I know you came back with a 53. I acknowledge that. We appreciate the movement, but we need more because he is not the player he was when you bought him. Sure. And hear me out on this. So, so far, what we've seen is you have a few players that you feel are comparable. Okay. We disagree. Okay. We understand that that's the case. I, I think we're a little bit surprised to see you only move by 2 million euros, especially given that if you really feel that these are the comparable players, what we're hearing is that you have a range and we still haven't seen what the rest of that range looks like. But I think at this point, it seems like you're not willing to come to the deal today. And I'm wondering what, what the alternatives might look like. You know, Darian, I know that you guys have. Some some strong young talent on your team. You have a striker that looks like it might be getting transferred. You're you're going to have a need for a striker, whether that's filled by Pulisic or whether that's another player. You know, I, I think at this point we'd love to hear is is there anything else that you guys need? What's our alternative today? We can't really feel about that. Is this something where your team goes out to find another player? What does that look like? I don't think that's there's any. I, it's not a good question. It's a fair question, but I don't think you need to answer that. That's our decision and our own, and that's. Not but like you are not going to share your offers and your your speculative rumors on him here entering every great club in the world. You're not going to say that, and we're not going to share our intention. Okay. We, want to to, we want to come to a deal, and we are trying to move in a realistic and reasonable set here. I, you can say you've come down millions of euro all day long, but you're coming from an unrealistic offer. And we're trying to be in a realistic range. And we understand he comes with more than just player value. He comes with the US market and a fan base. And we acknowledge which that. Is, which we is do that, that in our offer here. So let's do this. You've asked for the range. Um, we'll, we'll give that to you. We're, we're comfortable spending on the transfer fee 40 million. When you say you're comfortable, does that mean that's what you're authorized to spend? That's what we're comfortable. So you're authorized to spend. Uh, we are that. comfortable with that. So um, you are authorized to spend. Now we understand that that's the transfer side of it. Mm -hmm. And even though you're authorized, you only feel comfortable with that 40 million euro range. Is Unless that based you can on provide some sort of other stat base other than the team? Do you like to share with us what your lowest is so we can find some sort of middle ground? I think that's what we're struggling to do in these conversations. We're running around in circles, make it a Venn diagram. Let's meet somewhere in the middle. And keep not keep running circles. What is your lowest? We appreciate you coming up with 40 million euros. At this point, 
is there a player that that's based off of, or is that purely a number? Because what we're hearing is that you really like comparisons. So is there a comparable player that's at 40 million euros? So I think what we're going to do now is kind of do your own strategy here. You won't back up your offer. This is our personal opinion on what you valued up. And we have made a quite a realistic concession, I, I would say. So again, Chelsea needs our money more than we do. Right, but we're also talking with other clubs. So if but we, do you have any offers the you're not allowed to say? But I'm the alternative is, is that if we don't deal today with AC Milan, chances are this time there's another club. We've mentioned in the project. That's from, from the way that this is going, this is very confrontational, adversarial uh, negotiation. It, it seems like we're not getting to a deal today. You know, we've provided some justification for where we're at. Looking at Regine Sterling, we're not hearing any justification for where you're at with 40 million euros. It, it seems like the strategy is to kind of stonewall, aggressive, aggressive, aggressive. And I don't know that we're going to be able to get the deal if that's the strategy. So what I am hearing, you are under the impression this is adversarial. Yes, I, I think that's fair to say. Okay, and that's and that's fine. Uh, Everyone's entitled to it. I'm absolutely. I don't think this is going to be productive. We all came here right. today to, to come to a deal, right? Let's get back to the deal. That's that's exactly that's what, what I'm trying to focus on. But if stop. we keep meeting, let's, let's just get back to the deal. That is so let's exactly talk about the transfer fee. Right, okay. we're at forty million. Let's see where we can find some room there. The Champions League bonus. Is there room there? What you're comfortable with? There, there's, there's room, but. So how much room? Fair, fair question. Um, what do you? Yes. So not, much? not as much as we would like. I, I will tell you this: we are not authorized to go anywhere near your goals at five million. Okay. So we, what are you authorized? We made an offer. How do you feel about what's on the table? We understand. And we feel that that offer is below what we would be comfortable with. What we heard is that you were authorized to offer more than that. What is an offer that's within your authorization, but closer to what we feel is reasonable at that four and a half million euros? I don't think we're going to make a traffic offer. We've made our offer. If you would like to counter, you are more than welcome to do so. I mean, we want to come to a deal. And I, at this point, it's well past nine o'clock, last day. We're both still at the table. It's evident we both want this. We seem to be stuck on the, the numbers. What? Let, let me ask this. Why is it that Chelsea wants some money? Whatever you're offering. Why? Why? Can, can you tell me that? We'd love to see Christian Pulisic flourish on another team. <laughs> it your... hasn't worked out for Chelsea. We recognize that there's value in transfer. And now, in managers in the past, have even said that Christian is still on the up and up. He still has more development to come. He's taking responsibility. Of taking charge of in games, we've seen him do that at the international level. So in terms of the valuation that we provided, that's where we feel comfortable with. That's where we're at. And I think in terms of the transfer fee, we see them as more valuable than what you're saying you're currently comfortable with, which my understanding is at 40 million. Okay. Um, at this time, we'd like to take everyone to come up. How much time? About five minutes. Okay. I think if we have, we have, yeah. and there were two things to fight on that. I, I really think that this is a case of sharing the challenge over this. It's going to be a deal, and aside from the Would realistic, the that 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 yeah, 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 aside from the realistic implications of that's not how this is defined, yeah. and nobody would feel the same if we could get a deal done, I, I don't know. We told them to leave. Okay. <laughs> but setting aside the you know, dynamics of this, um, this really seems like something where we're trying to by justification, we can say that we're doing Sterling deal. You know, do we want to come in with one more offer where we're just trying to get some yeah. 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 Even if we feel like. So let's, let's see what that number looks like. Yeah. I know I'm pretty sure. Yes. But I, I suspect they're going to come in with 40. <laughs> or, or 38. <laughs> so, so maybe we can change the offer.
Oh. So I'm sorry, what is that offer? Is that 40 million plus 500,000? Isn't that what your previous offer was since you said you could go up to 40 million? We're not quite sure what that is. So we wanted to make it clear that exactly what our offer is and write it on the board as we do with all of our offers. Sure. So our, our understanding was that you would take a take a minute, chat about it, come back to an offer. So just to be clear, you, you haven't moved at all. No, I believe I, I mean we have made our offer. So if you would like to make a counter offer, we'll I mean we do want to come to the deal, but that's, so not, just that's what the numbers need to work. Let's make them work. So what what are the a couple of novels and leverage here, transfer fee and champion fee club. So which, yep. which ones can we go on to, to see where we can get a little bit closer to where we want to be? You mentioned you said you said the transfer fee. That's what's important yes. to AC Milan. Let's let's be realistic. Okay. This is not a guarantee. This is a guarantee. Right? So yeah, we are focused right. on points. So let's focus on that in the interest of time. Look, we we recognize that you haven't known. We'd really like to come to a deal today. We recognize that if we can't come to a deal, we'll have to work with another team. Why don't we go ahead and show you what uh, what we think we might be able to do? Darian, do you want to read that off? Yeah. So you mentioned transfer fee is important to AC Milan. Can we hear you? We hear you saying that. So we're going to come down to 50 million euros for the transfer fee. Um, in terms of the Champions League bonus, you mentioned, as you mentioned, it's, it's not guaranteed. Um, and it's not as important as the transfer fee, so we are sticking at 4.5 million euros for the Champions League bonus. But we have come down in terms of the transfer fee to your concerns that that's important to your client. Um, what do we think? We think we still haven't provided any backup, but my partner and I are going to take a moment. Discuss it. Okay, great. So let me just. No, we're getting closer. We're, we're, we're getting we're closer. Right So to be clear, that 40 million euro is your bottom line you won't come up with that. You're saying? Because what I heard a minute ago was make you a counter offer, which tells us it sounds like you might be willing to make some. So is there anything we can do? Make us your real that, that we have. That that was it. Okay. Give me another pair besides this. I don't think we've heard a single player with an actual transfer to I also just don't think that's going to be helpful at this point if you just keep talking about. Well, those comparable players just as much. Again, he's only worth what a club is worth. I understand that he's got other clubs targeting him. That's fine. We know that. It's just, it's it's not, it's not. That's I think we presented our counter offer. We thought that it was like, you know, short on time. If it's not guaranteed, why ask? It doesn't have to be important to our club. Yes. Something that's important in terms of us. I'm struggling to find a lot of that. Can you clarify on that? Can you expand on that at all? How is us weighing in with your club? Because well, it's a four and a half million. The way it works is if he wins for your club, then he is completely. Oh, we are, we are very aware of how it works. And okay. that is why we are still right. getting there so we can talk to you. Yeah. So just to be clear, you won't come up to the 40 million euro. What can you come down to? We, you came down to 50 again, unrealistic. We're into the details, double the details. Let's ditch the Columbus. What can you come down I, to? I, I don't know. We hope to see you in the chair. Okay. As much as it rains, it's going to be more than yes. Thank you. No, we, we have discussions.